welcome guys welcome back to the channel it's game day it's match day it's coppa italia it's i don't say big one because it's against a swallow with all due respect but it's an important one to keep the momentum going the positive feeling around the club and to actually keep the i don't say dream but the goal alive to win a trophy this season uh, and it starts with today by beating uh Sassuolo. um before we get into the preview, uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. And as you can see, this video is sponsored by Sporting. It's a, it's a football app where you can chat with, if you click the link in the description, description, excuse me, uh, you will get to the download link. It's an app on the phone with all the scores, not just from Juve, every game, all the Juve news, also our tweets will be on it uh, at times. Uh, you can uh, see in-game stats of the game. You can vote for your player of the game after every game. And you can chat with everybody in our community. So also us. Um, so yeah, uh, just click the link in the description and you can download it straight. Easy. Um, and now we'll get into the preview. So, so Swallow. Uh, we lost against them <laughs> this season. And it was a bad loss. Uh, it was a game where... I don't say we had absolutely no chance, but at a certain point in that game, you had a feeling like we're not coming back from this. They're just better for some reason. And we were very bad that game. I remember that. So Swallow are a bit hit and miss this season. They are. Um, so you don't really know what to expect with them. Uh, also, who's going to play? Are they going to go full strength? We are not going full strength in terms of we're making some changes. Um... They won against Cagliari in the previous game. We won against Sassuolo, uh, against Sampdoria, excuse me, in the previous uh, the previous round. Um, now, if you win this game, you will face Atalanta or Fiorentina uh, over two legs uh, in the semifinal. So that's that. You all need to know the last games against Sassuolo. I have them here. As you said, as I said, we lost this season one two at home. Uh, we won last season one three. Uh, we also won 3-1 at home last season. And the season before, we played 3-3 away to Sassuolo and 2-2 uh, at home. Um, when we play Sassuolo, it's always goals. Like conceding, winning, it's always goals, no matter what. Um, so I expect that, again, I expect goals. Uh, just because it's a Coppa Italia game and the way Atalanta, excuse me, Atalanta, Sassuolo play, I expect goals. Now... It's just up to us now to don't concede too many goals because, again, the lineup is not confirmed. We're making changes. That's not confirmed, but, like, you can you can bank that, that we will make some changes. Um, I don't think we should be conceding goals because I think that's will be, that will be very difficult to overcome uh, against this team at this moment in time. But we need to win this game, like I said, to keep that positive feeling around the club. It's very important ahead of Sunday with a must-win game against Atalanta. But also to keep that uh, Coppa Italia goal alive, because I think it's important for Allegri to win a trophy this season. It is um, just scraping top four, just getting top four. I don't think that's good enough. I think he actually needs to win it. Uh, and with Sassuolo, you have a quote-unquote opportunity of an easier game, like... Uh, Milan, they needed to play Lazio. Yeah, they won quite easily. But on paper, it was difficult. Inter needed to play um, Roma. And Fiorentina need to play Atalanta. Uh, excuse me, Atalanta need to play Fiorentina. So, let's be honest. Out of all those teams, we got the easiest draw. That doesn't mean we're going to win easily. Uh, I'm not saying that. But we should be winning this game. Uh, there shouldn't be any excuses. Uh, it will be kind of a disaster if you don't, to be honest, uh, for so many reasons. Um, now, again, we don't know how Sassuolo going to play. Are they going to go full strength? I expect them to do because they're not going to make Europa League, uh, in my opinion, and they're not going down to Serie B. So it's, it's in between for them. I think they're just going full strength. Sampdoria, I, we all understand why they didn't. It was a difficult moment for them. No coach. It was a bad moment. They're fighting relegation uh, or they were fighting relegation so you could have understand why they went don't didn't go into the game against us full strength but i do expect a swallow to do that 
And then you have, yeah, Berardi. I think he has 10 goals and like 3 assists this season. I'm not sure. Uh, I know Skamaka has 9 goals. Uh, just in Serie A. I'm talking Serie A. Um, so those are the players to watch uh, for. I think Raspadori also has 7. Because when I looked it up, uh, I think, yeah, I think Berardi has 10, Skamaka has 9, and Raspadori has 7. I'm just talking Serie A here. <coughs> Excuse me. And we have, I think, Dybala at 7, Morata at 5, and I think at was Cuadrado at 4. So if you just look at those, <coughs> excuse me, if you look at those numbers, they're attacking players, they're actually scoring. Our attacking players, not really. Like, they're, they're not. Just Serie A, I'm talking Serie A here. Like, if you're... If you compare it, I think Skamaka has more goals than any of our attackers in Serie A. Berardi has more goals. Uh, and I think Raspadori is tying. Yeah, I think he has seven in Serie A and Dybala has seven. So, based on that, if you just strictly look at that, that's kind of weird and it shouldn't be the case, but it's the case. Again, I'm not counting uh, Vlaovic having 17 goals or something. Like, he scored one for us. Um, and also, assist-wise, like, Berardi is having... A good season now remember it wasn't three it was nine excuse me it was nine and then it, it takes a drop off to i don't know who it was i think it was for spadori at three or at four but in Serie A, it's dibala who is our top scorer with four like number wise if, if you're just looking at two squads and just focus on the attack their attackers are having a better season than us number wise they are um they actually are uh so that's where the danger will be now, I don't know how they're going to line up. Um, I think we all expect... Uh, me, personally, I expect them to go out, all out for it because they have nothing to lose. But their attackers, yeah, they have a good season. Um, so I think that's something to watch out for. Um, especially, we talked about it in the, in the, in, during the live in the match preview. Like Rugani, uh, Bonucci, they're missing a kind of... Not kind. They're missing physic physicality against Kamaka. Maybe um, they're not players who like to. How do you want to say it? Play against an attacker's back, basically, like Kilini likes to do. Like he likes to basically stick to a defender. Also, the leg he likes to do it. But Bonucci and Rugani are not those type of players. Um, so let's see how that will develop. Um, and something else I wanted to point out because we talked about it against Verona. Like there were stretches in those games. In the second half, even in the first half, we, we kind of switch off and we allow the team team's opponents to have the ball way too long. Uh, so I looked it up uh, because maybe it was something we were trying to no, I don't say. Like maybe we were, this was something we were imagining or something like that. But I looked up when do we actually score or when are we most likely to score? And that theory of everybody saying we kind of switch off in these moments of the game is kind of true and that again it's not 100 like scoring goal likely to score goals and dropping off but when you likely to score goals in a stretch of 10 minutes it's it means most of the time like you're attacking and you're in control of the game i don't think yeah you can counter but like you don't build those stats with just counter attacks um so our most dangerous moments in a game moment in a game is from start until the 30th minute like it's 20 percent most likely to score a goal and then we drop off from the 30th minute to around the 60th minute we drop off and that's where we have seen this happen many times and then towards the end the last 20 minutes we are again most likely to score goals and we've seen that and now what's interesting to see is because i looked up social wall or stats and they are most likely to score in the moments when we are most likely to drop off. Now, I'm not saying it's one plus one, now it's two, but it just it was very interesting to see that the moment we drop off in games is the moment, and call it luck or call it I don't know what, is the moment where Sassuolo are most likely to score goals. Um, again, maybe if uh, I if I put that those stats up against uh, let's say Atalanta. They don't match. I think it's just luck. But maybe it's something to look out for. Uh, because we tend to drop off in those from 30 to 60 in a minute. We, like so many times, especially in that second half, we, like, from the start of the second half to about the 60 in a minute, we, a lot of the times, just completely 
drop off. Like, and I think it's, I don't want to say that. It's something Allegri asked to do. To be honest, I don't, exp- I, like, I think we can say going into the second half, coming back for the, for the first half, for the second half, excuse me, we can see the team is n- never actually going for it. They're never pushing for it. They're just, again, looking around, like giving the ball to the opponents and see what will happen. That's that's kind of like this season, especially this season. If you look up the numbers, they actually confirm that. They do. Um, so that's something we need to, in my opinion, work on. Because I don't think that's okay. Like, I rather have them coming out in the second half, firing and trying to put games to bed or actually trying to unlock games in uh, certain moments or in certain games. Um, but yeah, it was just, I don't know. <laughs> it was an interesting thing to see in the moments we drop off, Sassuolo actually are more likely to score goals. Um, it's something to watch out tomorrow, um, uh, tomorrow, excuse me, today. Um, but I think we should be winning this game. Um, no matter who's playing for us, for them, I think we just should be going out there and win that game uh, and make it to the semi final. And from the semi final on, two games, two legged games. Anything can happen. It's Atalanta or it's Fiorentina, but it starts with beating Sassuolo today uh, and keep that positive feeling in the club. Um, moving on to Sunday. Um, again, I don't expect a fluid game because we are making a lot of changes, but I do expect positivity. And I mean that in terms of a good feeling factor around the club still, because I like talking about it, but he's also warning us, the players, to not get carried away. And I kind of agree with him because you still need to do it on the pitch. Uh, so I'm not going to take Sassuolo lightly because we talked about it in this video. They're a weird club. Like they can turn it on and they can turn it off with every week passing. Very strange. But when they turn it on, they're actually very good. They can play football and they have quality players. So they're players who can hurt you during a game. And then it's very difficult to come back from it, especially if you make a lot of changes. Um, so yeah. Again, we need to win this game. We do. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Are we going to win this game? And is it a priority to win this competition in general? I think it is. Um, um, yeah. So as always, like the video. Again, this video is sponsored by Sporting App. The link is in the video description. Just click it. You can download it. You can chat with everybody in the community. Check the results. Fall for your players. Um, player ratings, excuse me, man at the match after every game. Uh, you get all the news on the app. Also, our tweets are on it. Um, so, yeah, uh, thanks for joining, for watching the video as always. And then we will see you in the next one. Uh, ciao.